got a mask? You got a mask, sir? I would like to politely refuse, sir. Yeah. Can't. Yeah. It's county building per the governor. Specifically, can you specifically tell me exactly what the governor said? Because I uh, know uh, specifically uh, what he said. So you said the governor. Can you tell me specifically what he said? No, I don't have the exact word. Can we help you, folks? Okay, so why would you say the, what the governor said yes, if sir. you don't have the exact words? Yes, sir. Well, he said there's exceptions to the rule. It's not a law. There's no penalties for a refusal to wear one, especially in a public building. Okay, if I go in a private place, if I go to your house and you want me to wear one, I'll wear one. If I go to your house and you want me to wear one, I'll wear one. If I go to Walmart and Walmart wants me to wear one, I'll wear one. Yes, sir. Well, I'm getting my supervisor for you, sir. Why do you no, need? Why, why do you feel the need for that? Yes, sir. Come on around. Are you a police officer? We are marshals. Marshal Gurkha. Did you swear to protect our freedoms? Yeah. We have a situation. Okay, so you guys are marshals. You swore to protect the United States Constitution, didn't you? At the courthouse, sir. We're marshals at the okay, so it, Clark County Courthouse. Two hundred Lewis, sir. Hey, don't don't listen, man. Listen, when two grown men are speaking, have some respect, brother. Please have some respect. Are you his boss? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm your boss. <laughs> so, Easy Tiger, okay? I'm having a conversation with this guy right here. And he's actually you doing his in, job. coming in, sir? Yeah, how are you feeling today? All right, go ahead. Because he's speaking to the public. His job is to answer questions. <coughs> Por what is it, Por Porter? So, are you a police, you're a marshal too? Yes, sir. Would you ever arrest any of your own if they were being disorderly? I, I just told you, if they were being disorderly. Disorderly is a very well vague today, sir? description. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. No, no, because you know exactly what, what you can charge somebody, what they're doing if you charge somebody for disorderly conduct. For instance, like loud, unreasonable noises. Although I have the right to protest, you guys say, oh, well, he, I can come and protest with 20 people here and be as loud as I want and everything, everything's cool. But once you come and protest by yourself, they turn into disorderly conduct. You guys are marshals. You guys are supposed to stand for our rights, stand for freedom. Right? Am I, am I right? Am I wrong? I mean, I'm not a marshal, but I would assume that if you swear to protect the Constitution of the United States, it would be it would be the it would be the Constitution and in, in our freedoms over over everything, sir. Porter, don't, don't you think any of you have military experience? So, do you guys have power power to arrest anyone? Do, you do, right? Can you arrest somebody? Yeah, you do. If you're breaking the law. So you see, not wearing a mask is not breaking the law. Especially in a public building. So we're going to go ahead and freely walk in this building and conduct official business, sir. Uh, Stay outside to my supervisor. Come, you can't come in to the supervisor. Come, come on, Jay. I can't come in. And you see, you guys are borderline right now, disorderly conduct, because you're starting to disturb my peace. Are and you're. You feeling, are you feeling well today, sir? Does anybody come in? Am I am I feeling well? I, well, I was a, I was a happy person until I got here, and you try and you guys are trying to trample on my right to walk freely in in a public building, public entrance. This is a public building. There's a sign right there. What, what are you guys doing here? You're being disorderly. What are you What are you doing, Porter? What are you doing, Porter? So let me let, let, let me take a guess. You're not you're not willing because your ego won't let you. None of you are willing to go look right now through your phones and look at the exact words that the governor said. You want to enforce whatever policy. You see, I don't work here. You're the one that's at work. So if if the police department or the marshal's office or whoever you work for tells you that you have to wear a mask, you have to wear a mask because that's your job. But we don't work here. We're, we we fund this place. We fund this building. 
And we're not here to disrespect any of you. We're here to exercise our First Amendment right to freedom of the press, to walk freely, unbothered by the police. You see, that's why Mr. America does what he does. Okay? That's why we have nearly 100 million views on our channel. Share, like, and subscribe. Auditing America. Say, hi, mom. <laughs> hi, mom. You see, you can find us on TikTok. 16 million views in just like four months. Or you can go to Instagram, find us, Auditing America. No, no underscore, no numbers, no nothing. Auditing America. Before you even end up uh, end writing my name, it's going to pop up. Hopefully, hopefully, we have a sergeant or a supervisor who's going to honor his oath before anything. And we're going to see if he respects our rights and educates these gentlemen on our right to walk freely in a public place. Hi, you're here for court? No. Well, how can we help you, ma'am? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm all right, man. No, no. Why are you calling me up on the side? Oh, that one's in trouble. He did something wrong. <laughs> no, he didn't handle it. He didn't what? He didn't do what he was supposed to do. What was he supposed to do? Talk to you. You guys are public servants. You guys work for us. What right. do you mean? What do you mean, talk to us? What's wrong with talking? Are we, are we still in America? <laughs> do we still have free speech? We do. Okay. And so you do. Do you stand for the First Amendment? Are you, you're a marshal. I do. So why are you trying to censor him? Who's censoring him? He you say he's answer you your question. You say he's so not. That's what he's getting reprimanded for. Okay. So what's the deal? What do you need? Then? Okay. We want to be able to walk in the building and request a public request, uh, public records request form, fill it out. And be on our way. Okay. So what's the problem? They're telling us that we can't come in because we're not wearing a mask. But we already explained to them that we have read word by word what the governor said. Okay. So, so what's the issue now? Okay. We just want to go in there and conduct okay. official business, sir. We want to request, uh, do public records request. Okay. Where's your, where is your public records request from? From this building. Okay, from where in the building, sir? Well, I want to see what, what records do you guys have available for the public okay, so, first. So the records are available through Municipal Court, City of Las Vegas Municipal Court. You have records available from uh, Las Vegas Justice Court, and you have records available from District Court. And this okay. is what? This is, this is the courthouse, the Regional Justice Center. Okay, so there should be somewhere uh, in this building where I can do a... There's multiple different places depending on what records you wanted. What's okay. the, um... It's the one where the fence is around it, that courthouse. It's like next to the police, uh, the detention center behind it. It has the fence in front of it. Right now it's where they're doing city. construction. That's city. That's the that's that's city. 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 Okay. That would be that would be the municipal court. So right now, the city of Las Vegas municipal court uh, is completely shut down. Okay. They have no courts going at all whatsoever. Okay. Um, what happens here is the district court takes jurisdiction over the building because they're the county, okay? So the chief judge of district court has put out an order that anybody entering the building needs to wear a mask. Whether they're going to district court, they're going to um, justice court, or they're going to municipal court. Okay. okay. So, that, so, so, that's the, so that's the court order based on the... based on the judge Yes, but there's, there's the exemptions to that, sir. There's medical exemptions. Okay. And, and also the HIPAA law. Do you know what the HIPAA law is? Okay. Is. So that means, you know, I don't have to put all my business no, out I there. I no, I'm not asking so, you. Can, so are we, are we able to walk in freely in the you're, building? You're not. So how, how we handle the exemptions for that type of thing is, okay, is we have in place multiple different ways for you to get that information, okay? So that information you can get is set up by each one of the courts that you can get that stuff online, okay? They have set that up that you can get it through the phone, you can get it online, or you can get it through the mail. That's but you guys should welcome, you, should get, you guys should encourage 
everybody. You see, you guys are trying to make this as simple as possible for you. Because the less people that come in here, the less man work that you physically have to do here. Well, if you put everything in a computer's hand. So you should that, encourage us that, to come here. I do encourage you to, okay? But this is, you okay. see, you're, you're Marshall, sir. You, you, sir. You, you, you're you're all about our freedoms, right? That's correct. So come on, we have the freedom to, to do what not, we want as long as we're not breaking the law. You absolutely, 100%. But once you're telling me that I'm not free to go into a public area, you're you're stopping me from exercising Look, my rights, sir. I'm I'm just doing what I'm told, okay. So I'm not gonna argue with you whether that's right or sir, wrong. Sir, we have to argue that because be a, that would be a conversation that you would need to have with the people who sir, make those decisions. And when I'm you became a marshal, it doesn't matter if you're told anything, sir. You have to stand by the, by what's right. Correct. So it doesn't even Correct. if and your boss makes a wrong decision, you have to say no. As long as it's a, as it's long not what as you're told, it's, my friend. It's, it's what's right. Well, can I tell you? It's, if it's a lawful order, yeah, I guess which I have no reason to believe that that is not a lawful order at this point in time, then I have to follow it, right? Right? Sir, so, so, it's not, so this, is not, this is not a lawful I'm thing not, right I'm now. I'm not going to debate with you whether it's a lawful order or That's not. because you're not, the, you're not the one that being, is being stopped. That's why you don't want to debate. Oh, no, no. I, I want Look, to I'm, I'm I want to get to the bottom of this. This is a public I'm building. We shouldn't even we shouldn't even to have to be speaking it. right now, sir. I agree with you 100 percent Because this I is not this is not I'm a not private person. building. I, I got a shield if you want to wear a shield. It's the principle, sir. I appreciate you offering it to me though. Okay. It's it's just the principle of being a, a, a publicly funded building, funded by us, by we the people. It's a nice building. If 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 a rich guy buys a building like this, we don't have the right to go in there and check it out. But if we chipped into this one, we should be welcome here with no restrictions. I don't disagree. No I don't restrictions. Disagree. Once I I bet is there a screening process once you go in there? What do you think about the Fourth Amendment? What about it? Illegal search and seizure. It's not an illegal search. Well, how how is it how is it reasonable? How is it reasonable? Yeah, it's a public so building. It's reasonable under the exception of that you have the choice not to enter the public building. Okay? You have the choice to turn around before you get there. The search is not for anything other than weapons and contraband. So it's not... Although we have the Second is, Amendment. The search is not set there to catch you doing anything wrong. The search is there to protect everyone inside the building, including yourself. But you swore to protect... coming in with weapons. That's what the search is but, for. Okay. So it's an administrative search. And it fits the administrative. But well, you're looking for weapons. So what about the Second Amendment? We have the right to to bear arm, which you swore to protect. So if you're looking for because, weapons, well, is law, it? The law says that you're not allowed to carry those those weapons into the building. That's all. So you're well, why allowed, why you're not, not if it's why not if it's a public building? That would be a question for the. Our rights our rights should be protected in this building more than anywhere that else. Would be a question but for once the legislature. you legislature, yeah, go up to Rio they're the and debate it with them. They're the ones I mean, who passed the law and wrote the law. That's in their NRS. Us. So we just enforced the law, sir. Well, you're trying to I'm enforce not... a policy right now because it's not a law to wear a mask. So so you enforce the law. So let's that's, enforce the law. A, the rule you see, but you're not. You see, you just changed it. You're not. You're not a I'm rule enforcer. That, I'm telling you, that the, I'm telling <laughs> you that, the, that the mask mandate, okay, for this building, is by the the, the chief judge's uh, rule. But it's the not a law. Rule, it's not a. It's not a law. A, a rule is like a suggestion. I, no, I we can nicely that, refuse. But the chief judge, okay. But you're going around it. The, the, the law is the law. You're the a law judge, okay? enforcer. So that's all, how all the things that happen in the courthouse happen. So. How things are practiced, how cases are handled, and all that are do all done by rules of the chief judge. So that's where they get their power from. Okay. Again, I, well, sir. No, no, no. They get their power. Gonna, they get their gonna, power from us, sir. That, so we give. Okay. We we're the ones I'm with the power, you sir. Where, what, what our directive is. That's all. I understand what you're saying completely. I don't necessarily disagree yeah. with you. You're just scared of losing your job. You I don't want... You, because if you job. care about the Constitution and our freedoms, then you would be like, then fuck what? this job. So can because I because it's all about freedom. Can I ask you a question then? Yes, sir. Okay. Why, why would I be scared of losing my job? I'm not doing anything wrong. Because you're, you you don't want us to let us be free in the people's building, my friend. That's all we're asking? We're not asking much? No, I'm not. <laughs> if Kobe wasn't here, Here's we wouldn't the thing. Well, we're having this I'm discussion. Not. Well, did you know what Benjamin Franklin said? Those who sacrifice their liberties for security shall and deserve neither. You guys protect our freedoms, bro. You're cops. 
You, you're okay. marshals. Freedom, man. You're not supposed to be looking for weapons because we have the Second Amendment. You're not supposed to be looking for through people's stuff. You know, we have. We're, this is a public place funded by tax dollars. We shouldn't even have to go through any of that. Have you, the, the, this is the courthouse, yeah, right? If I go in the courthouse and I and I and and I wear a mask okay. and I go into the public uh, hearing, right? I can uh, I can't sit down peacefully and record, right? Although we have the First Amendment that says I have freedom of the press. You're gonna take my phone if I refuse. I can be found just in be contempt clear, of court. Not. Just so, me personally, I will not. So you, so, so I can that. go to court so here and, will, and video record a hearing. I'm not gonna be in that courtroom, okay? And I'm gonna tell you that if it was me, I'm gonna let that judge who doesn't want your recording handle that situation. Yeah, it's not That's not on me. Well, you see, <laughs> but if you're you. there, you're a cop. You're the judge is is just a, a mediator. You yeah, see, this so guy's just. So if the judge wants to hold you in contempt of court, that's going to be on the judge. That's not going to be for a there. phone. That's would on the exactly. if the judge if the judge if the judge gave you an order to arrest me for video recording, would you do that? Would you do it? Uh, I would. That's not a, against the law. It's not a lawful order. It's okay. Not against the law. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Amazing, it's not against the law. Good. Then then oh. shout outs. Shout outs to this building. At least they let you. So if we wear a mask right now, we can go in there and, and video record. Look, if you, so. if you wear a mask, you can go anywhere in this building and video record anything that is open to the public. Okay? All right. All right. Now, if you go to a courtroom, there's a particular person in there who tells you you cannot record in that court. And by the way, most of the courtrooms, if not all the courtrooms right now, are closed because they're not letting spectators in. Now, I know what you're uh, saying about that. They're not even, they're not even He's like, yeah, you can go, but we're let close. Let me, let, me let me finish, let me finish. Yeah, I knew that was going to cause that, but let me finish. Then they're also not even bringing defendants in. So they're doing everything over video pretty much, okay? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. of COVID, just like everything else, right? How so long is this going to last, my friend? COVID. When are we going to go back to normal? Do you, are you, uh, now let me ask you a question. Are you personally okay with wearing a mask for the next 10 years? I hate it. I hate it. Me too, my friend. Personally, I hate, I hate it. it. I bet you it bothers you and behind your ears. You wear it for hours a day. It bothers my face. It bothers me here. It bothers bothers me here. Yeah, I'm so, it so when are you going to stand for your freedom, man? So, Come on. When I, when I do, when You're supposed I do, to be happy at work. Enjoy it. Not be like, man, I hate wearing this. We are happy. Man. Well, you hate, you hate what you're wearing. I hate having to wear a mask, but that's, you know. That's where it starts. Ten years from now, who knows? Now it's this. Well, again, and then they'll say, they'll say, well, we 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 require a permit for taking pictures. Then we are trying to keep our freedoms going, brother. We should go back and forth on that for a hundred years, right? I'm not gonna do that. Just because we're not gonna get then 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 let's go in there and 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 fix this and let's let's fix this motherfucker. Well, I mean, I mean, they are they are listen, Cody. They are they are very nice guys, okay? I'm not saying they're bad people. They they're having a conver a good conversation. We're having a good conversation with them. He's saying that he's not gonna let us in if we don't have a mask. So he's nicely uh, stopping us from our freedom, but that doesn't mean that he's a bad guy. Like I said, he's, he just wants to keep his job. That's that's all Who it. Doesn't want to keep their job. Th yeah, right. but, yeah, but this is this is so, not just a regular job. It's a it's a special. It's a, it's a it's a sent. This job should have a sentimental value to you. Yeah, this job. Well, I've been here 13 years. So. You know, you know. So you 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 know this this should be like damn. It's all about freedoms. When when the government starts taking freedoms from the people, then yeah, then it's your duty to overthrow any tyrannical governor government, sir. We're very patriotic people, and we love our country, and we love our rights. But this, this needs to stop, man. This is this has this has mentally uh, bothered a lot of people. You know, has killed more people than the virus itself. So, like, what it, what's the what, what's the what when you breathe in and you breathe out? What is it that comes out? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Okay, yep. what happens if I, do, aren't I consuming carbon dioxide by wearing a mask you for know, hours and hours and hours? That's, and hours? That's, that's, there are some studies that say that on some masks, if you wear a surgical mask, they will tell you that you actually, some studies will tell you that a surgical mask, you will pollute 
within like uh, 20 minutes that you'll pollute it and you're actually like wearing that mask, you're actually breathing the stuff in that's on the surgical mask. Yes, you're There's right. a whole, but there are also studies that tell you otherwise. So who do we believe? It's just like everything else. That's right? why we have to stand up for ourselves. It's just based, stand up for freedom. Dr. Fauci said that the masks are ineffective. He, the, the, the main doctor, the right, general they, doctor in the United States they, said the masks are ineffective. He said, looked and said that they did work, right? So that's, what yeah, I'm saying. that's because no, that's because yeah. everybody jumped on him for that and then the pressure because the first that reaction that he said oh what that, that does nothing yourself. once you start getting feeling the heat then he said the ability to fight off any viruses yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna start the fact of wearing gloves so yeah. and, and i agree with you guys so, I, so Dr. I mean, is, is there anything the else i can do for i mean i love seriously i don't mind the conversation i don't mind your debate i don't mind answering your questions awesome because you know we can we come from very far just to see if you're that you wanted to hear to some of the questions but i don't i have answers but they might not be the ones that that are correct in your mind or the ones you want to hear right but they're the answers i have unfortunately for both of us right i hear you because um, that like our freedoms are our freedoms, my friends. Oh, our freedoms are our freedoms. This is a you, like it really breaks it breaks my heart the way that our country is reacting to to all these uh, mask orders. This is this is America, my friend. We have people from all over the world that want to be here because of our freedoms. <laughs> now they start they start taking us away from us. Then we're gonna be like the rest of the world. And then we're not going to be the best country in the country, the best country in the world like we are right now. We have the best military in the world. What's that saying? Vote yourself in, shoot yourself out. We don't want to come to that because <laughs> it's communism coming to America. Bro. Not good, man. The, the mask, if a form of imprisonment, even back in the day. Bro, they're, they're pretty much treating us like slaves. We're on YouTube. I wouldn't go that. What's your, what's your well, that's where go home. You, you know when they have the when they have the riots going on. Go home. Stay home. We have curfews going on. That's not very American. Like, go home. Stay home. Wear a mask in public. Curfews. Wear a mask in public. Go home. Stay home. Pay me tax. You know everything. It's it's not too good. This is Auditing America. Okay. We're on every platform. Chase from the Allen Report. Yeah. Go to the AllenReport.com. Part of the I audit. shake your hand, but we're not. C allowed. CPR audits. We actually uh, we're missing a guy right now. He's part of the Automerica uh, uh, defense team. Are you guys team. local or are you uh, We're actually, we're national. What we do is we travel the country making sure um, all across the board, our public officials, police officers, you name it, are not only courteous and professional, but they uphold the constitution to the best of their ability. Right. Well, so, I mean, you guys are really like cordial and respectful, but you, but the freedom, you know but, what I'm saying? But you, 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 but, you, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to do I'm while your job. boss is, you're on the job and I, you don't want to go against your, your your job, what they're saying in at the department or at the marshal's office or something. I understand. You know, you have a family to to feed. You have a mortgage, a house. You wake up and you're like, oh man, man, what is it? Oh, thousands of dollars in debt. We're all in that same boat. But there's a difference when you when when like I said, it's a sentimental thing. We're doing the same thing that you guys are doing, but we're doing it on our own. We want to protect freedom. Fair enough. We, so, look, we don't begrudge you guys, and we don't. We I can appreciate what you're doing, and I hope that everybody that you go and you speak to, and all and you speak to our people here, or wherever you go, whatever agencies you talk to, whatever official, that at least they they're respectful, and at least they give you some answers. And, and Again, you might not like the answers, but at least they give you the answers to the questions. Right? You're, you're absolutely right. Have been nothing but respectful and cordial to us, so I appreciate that. We've dealt with other people who come, and they. They're trying to antagonize. Yeah, because we say First Amendment. We say First Amendment, and a lot of people go the wrong way uh, about it. You know, but the First Amendment is about controversial speech. So, although I may not agree with what you're saying, I, I would die for your right to say what whatever that you that, that you have to that you have to say. As you guys know, there are very a lot of uneducated people out there when it comes to. First Amendment, there are a lot of uneducated people when it comes out to videotaping in a public place. How many people do you have who are just citizens who go, what are you doing? Don't video, I don't want to video, you ain't man, that guy, you can't. Yep. 
I have about 800. They, they I have about 800 of those videos. They don't really standing on a corner. They, yeah, yeah, they don't. You're saying I didn't give him the right to videotape me. And what are you talking about? You have no expectation of privacy in public. So. If if video recording was a bad thing, paparazzis would be uh, in jail. <laughs> but the celebrities hate paparazzis. These people wait in front of their home. They wait in front of their gym. They go everywhere. Yeah. Follow. Bro, TMZ, these people pay 50000 for a good picture of Justin Bieber or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Who's not going to run after you people with a camera? <laughs> Freedom of the press. Where you guys heading next? Well, well we really can't now. tell you. Not here. But you guys heading to Cali now? Well, yeah, we, we might go to California. We might go down to Arizona. We might just say screw it, go to Seattle. Yeah, I don't care. We might go to here, Alaska. We might head back out east. We don't even know yet, actually. We, we're, we're playing it by ear. Bro, we just flew here. We're like, all right, we'll, we'll figure out what's next. But hey, we're not going to hold you guys any longer. Thank you guys so yeah. much for uh, having a conversation with us. Think, of us as think about the whole mask shopper. thing. You know <laughs> speak yeah. sp yeah. speak to your... Get, you're you're welcome to... I wish I had different answers. And I don't know. Try back next time you guys are in town. Try to speak to your supervisor about this. Tell them how you really... Tell them, tell them how you really feel about your mask, bro. You already told us. Speak to your boss, bro. Put a request. That one person who likes to wear a mask. Well, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people that they they want to wear a mask and they want to force other people to wear one. You're doing it just because you're at work, but regular citizens. Yeah, that's funny. That person, watch out. I know people that say, I feel, I feel safe because I'm wearing a mask. But I don't know if they necessarily like it. I mean, this is unnatural, right, to have something covered. It's, it's But honestly, as an officer, I don't like it because I know what you look like, right? If I needed to find you yeah. or identify you, I know what you look like. Mm -hmm. If I see you again, I'm going to recognize you because I know what your face looks like. Yep. I'm going to recognize you. Well, hey, I remember you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This... Yeah, sunglasses, that. Right? Hat. I put that's why we're. That, that's why I don't even like wearing one. And you know what? We we talk to the police every day, every day, seven days a week. I have. I, if you, I, I have nothing to hide. You know, some people do these type of videos and they go f this, f that. Although they have the right to to say it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with disrespecting people like that. I mean, if you if you come at me, if you dis if you curse me out, I'm gonna curse you out. Again, I'm like, oh, so you want freedom of speech time? Okay, let's do it. But <laughs> that's it. No violence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and there, like I said, we've dealt with people in the past. They're trying to antagonize. It's just there's no reason for that stuff. You know? Now, are there any places out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, that you believe need?